Good afternoon. In this video I would like to show you the progress of the scenery, historical scenery. I've been doing some carving work lately and I was able to finish the, the bridge and partially the quay, the quay. The bridge is now completely carved, including its road and the backside. Only here's a little space which I didn't do, which because I have to repair it, it comes loose on splinters and shouldn't carve when you see that the wood is coming loose. You should glue it back together and leave it overnight to dry and continue the carving project the next day. That's why I didn't finish the part I could have to glue it. It's coming loose. But it's finished and I'm about going to paint it now with the weathering techniques. And the same I, I did with the, the K. It's also ready in, at this side. And I should um, should ju do just the same on the other side. Here. Um, let's see. Here I started to, to do the carving work is the same. But that will every day some some stones. I'm not going to carve complete days doing this work because then you might get crazy. And this I didn't do until now. I will do that after I finish this. I will start to do the stone work here. And I will do those a little bit um unorganized stone work, not too it shouldn't look too neat. It should look um, a bit like improvised stone work. In the boat which we showed you in the first part is already now I'm starting to shape the boat before I would put the, the back rail and the front rail which is, let me see, let me put down this okay. what I mean is um, but this is the back rail of the campa Campagna we call that, I don't actually call this Campagna and the front deck rail here this is a raised rail, it's higher, a higher level, a deck on a higher level and here as well near the deck is obviously at a lower level so I have to make the rail but in order to make the rail we need to start doing the rough carving of the boat and I started with it but it is far from ready you can see it when I reposition the boat in this way you can see that the sides they are not in one curve there's still, still everywhere here there's too much material and you, I do this by eye I observe 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 till I say it's the right curve and it is of course very useful if you would have a, a real model in real life a model to to compare or you could make something out of clay and or you could check on the internet if there are uh, lots of pictures available of these boats in many positions so that you can copy those shapes I, this is building by eye and the planking now that I started to shape the sides you can see very clearly look at my nail and how small the plankings are it really looks like planking, strip planking, and this is just a solid wood. Nobody will notice afterwards. This is solid wood because of the deck and everything. Uh, nobody will know that this is a solid wood model. And to try to make this, as you can see, it's very small. Uh, in strip planking, is like an impossible job. And that's why I choose to do it this way for this scale 1 cm, 72 cm. Or I think they, they call it um, 28 millimeter. It's also the name of the scale. I don't know, I'm not sure. But as you see, it is already in progress. And I take for the shaping, I just take a normal chisel. In this case, this is a chisel of, I estimate, 80 millimeters, which is, you know, can't read it. And 
and just start shaping little by little very small chips you take take and every time again you you eyeball and see if the curves are like you want that's how I do it now I am doubting that I'm going to show you all of this on, of, on how to make the boat in like 50 videos because I'm, I'm doubting that there's a lot of people who would like to do this mm, you have to use your common sense you, you have to use your common sense you, you must be honest to yourself is this realistic what I'm doing don't try to use to rough materials for example the sails I will make them there will be they will be folded they will not be the boat is in this case laying here to deliver its things to the city and the sails of course uh, folded up so in this case I will use tea bag material dried and I will fold them up and put them together with little sewing yarn and put a little dash of thin uh, white glue and some dirt will paint some shadows on it with like a gray brownish black here and there but not too thick because we want it to be subtle this must be charming not exaggerating uh, the colors are never should be too bright I'm not sure about the color yet I think I will put this in white and this will be natural wood but we'll be painted in like an oak brown oak brown and the rock rail is a little bit darker some black here and there for the iron work the deck will be made out of cardboard strips the masts will be carved by hand so I don't re strongly recommend you to not use for example the handle of a, of a brush because that would make the whole thing look very fake now you have to carve it yourself and it should be tapered but a little bit like round tapered a little bit like this those those masts let's see I have the most plants here yes as you can see they, they are tapered but a little bit parabolic they, they are not exactly straight that's how they did it in those times so I will carve those by hand it's only one mast by the way and a gaff and a boom and two of those I don't know what they are called like in English and these are the tea bags as you can see this will be the tea bags folded up with sewing yarn here too this is a mistake you never they never put the, the gaff the mainsail like that on the gaff they put it on the boom of course because I was a bit sleepy when I did that and, and that's how I will do it. And the cannons I will most probably make out of very tiny little pieces of wood and rolled up paper, and then paint it in bronze. And the cannon uh, base will be out of oak, for example, oak color. I will paint it in oak color. But you can use any wood which you find pleasant to work with. And the bowsprit, the widow, widow makers, like they call them. I will also carve by hand. Then the back of the boat, uh, the stern, I think it's in English, will be cardboard. Cardboard. This will be cardboard mostly. Everything. And the windows will be made, made just. Oh, sorry, you can't see. This will be cardboard. This is the stern. And the ornaments will be little drops of glue, which I will by little apply everywhere. White glue. And the windows will be made just the same way like we did the windows for the model house, which you can see in another series of videos, serial of videos which I post in here on YouTube on my channel. And uh, everything will be painted as well. Mm, and the rock rails will be cardboard. These are the rock rails. This is a rock rail. This is a rock rail. This is a rock rail. Um, I don't know if you can see it. This is a rock rail. This one too. And this too. These are all from made from cardboard. These rock rails. They will be from cardboard. One layer probably. And then I put a lot of 
like thin layers of white glue to make them look rounder otherwise they look too etchy and that's not my purpose they should look round a little bit rounded what you also can do is before applying the the cardboard strip which is the imitation of the rub rail you could apply thin glue on it and then it's possible to pile it with a metal file the cardboard and it is almost like wood but never to be compared with the real wood real wood is much easier to work with in in a specific way sometimes yes sometimes no sometimes cardboard is preferred sometimes you want to use wood you have to decide it yourself in your model prism project sometimes it's more convenient to use wood sometimes it's better to use cardboard because it, it's easier for example the shingles on the roof for my um the shingles on the roof of, of my model model house they were of cardboard because it would be maddest to make them all of wood it was much easier quicker and when painted it looked just the same so this is the model boat i will continue with this and continue with the whole the whole project of of this town and what i also wanted to show you was let me see ah, there it is. what i wanted to show you is that i'm going to make here a gatehouse here here at the end of the bridge there will be a great gatehouse ah, look, look, I will show you. this is how the walls the defense, the defense walls should look like with the cannons and the core the corpse of willow branches they will be here on top with grass and willow branches and cannons in between and it will be carved like like this more or less this will be the market marketplace in more southern style mediterranean style but even in Austria they had these these two the copies from the Italy of course the neighbors and the gatehouse is this one I designed it myself here it's a not too com complicated design I like the little tower here there they will be covered with cardboard uh, roof shingles made out of cardboard and the advantage of this building is that there is not a lot of carbon work, not a lot of stones to be carved in the wood it's just a little bit like an ornamental design and the rest will be like imitation plaster just painted with the white and then washed with some several washings of dirt which is a mixture of grey, brown, a little bit of black, a little bit of white until you get the, the right washing and very thin of course thin with water lots of water you put in and very carefully you apply a little bit at a time and wait till it's dry because the color will get dry up lighter than it is when it is applied this is this, this is the way i will make this building and the building i already have in preparation i started to glue, glue together this Measured it out, and it has more or less a good width. This is a good width. I have to still saw it in two, and I have to make a, a, to glue in between a spacer because, as you can see, these two will be very long. These are these. These two are very long, and in between here, the on block and I try to to avoid that this horrible knot here will be visible because that is not possible to, to be carved and as soon as I would let me see I, as soon as I would have imagine this is already cut in two as soon as this is glued together I will cut away the axis at the back here and plane it all level and then we could when we have done the basic structure here we can start with roof which is just a plank here which is shaped in this shape and another block of wood which is shaped in the rest of the roof and at the final part we can 
make the tower and glue it into place with some toothpicks and we can make the rounding with a round file or a drum sander here the rounding of the because it will be straight at, at first but we can file it in, into shape or if you have a drum sander which is a big advantage then use the drum sander that would be a plus and then we can apply the roof singles and do the carving work and the support for the roof there are some supports here here are some supports and make the gate things I don't know how to make them I think I will put two layers of cardboard on each other and make this this gate imitate and then paint it in iron color or black I don't know I have to think about it Thank you for watching and I, I hope I inspired you for your modelism projects. Good luck.